head and allow the upper back to tilt back. Remember not to release that completely. Keeping those obliques engaged will and keep a large grapefruit sized space between your chin and your throat. Belly button in, working those shoulders back, and then coming out of that position. It's gonna find our spoon shape and hinge. And come right back to neutral. Keeping those obliques connected and don't let the neck fall back completely. Okay. With a hinging of the thighs. So we'll start out coming forward, leading with the head, and coming back, drawing in the belly. And forward, and back. And forward, reaching long. And remember when you come back, keep the belly button to the spine. If you release it, you're gonna start torquing that low back and you wanna keep it strong there. So what we're doing is we're lifting the chest, still keeping those obliques engaged. So we don't wanna release those either. So keeping the ribs connected, but allowing the upper back to extend. So coming forward, leading with the head, and coming back, drawing in the belly. And forward, and back. forward, reaching long, coming forward, leading with the head, and coming back, drawing in the belly, and forward, and back, and forward, reaching long, come forward, and back. And as you feel more comfortable with this, you can take it a little bit further. Come forward and back. And as you feel more comfortable with this, you can take it a little bit further. Until you're ready to go all the way into that back layout. If you'd like to come back up, lifting from the core, pulling yourself up and out of that position. Good, let's try that again. We'll use the hingulation to get back to the floor. Arms up. You can place one hand on a foot and push yourself over to one side. Sweeping yourself up and coming up and extend. Pointing the toe, pointing the fingers and coming back down. And coming up and extend. Pointing the toe, pointing the fingers and coming back down. And coming up and extend. Pointing the toe, pointing the fingers and coming back down. So we'll start out just going down, tap one, two, and come right back up, one, two. Good, and coming down, one, two, and one, two. Using one knee at a time helps keep it smooth. If you come down but with both knees, you're gonna clunk forward. So to keep it smooth, you wanna just do one at a time. So down, tap, tap, and back up. Remember to pull the belly in. It's gonna help you with balance. Coming down, engaging that pelvic floor. Good, one more time. Good. The next descent is the foot back slide. You're gonna take a leg, slide it around, and we're gonna be sliding on the top of the foot. You're just gonna let it slide down on the floor and bringing the arms up. Good, let's try that again. Nice and easy.
Good. This one's good in a full skirt. You can sweep the leg around and draw yourself down nice and slow. Being careful on the knee, just taking your time, using that standing leg. Let's try the other side. Sweep around and down. Good. You're going to start with your back to the audience. One leg extended with the opposite arm up. You're going to go over your shoulder, bringing the hands together. The knees come down. You're going to lean forward ever so slightly to keep the weight balanced. And then come right back onto the sitting bones. Good. Let's try it again. Weights on the left. Arms out, and we're going to come around. Good. And coming up. Let's try it on the other side. Shifting the weight over to the right, pointing that left toe, right arm up, left arm out, and come around. Make sure to lean forward, keeping that weight counterbalanced. Get your feet underneath you and pose. Good. One more time. Good. That lands you in that Turkish twist sit. just like the knee down. So we'll try that spinning and drop, drop. Good, let's try it again. Spinning and drop, drop. Good, it's nice. Let's try that one more time. Turning and drop, drop. Good. Let's try some ascents. Foot. You're going to bring that foot planted on the floor, and then you're just going to lift yourself up, pulling from the belly, really engaging that belly. Good. Let's try that again. On the other side, plant that foot and lift up. Belly button in. Let's try it one more time on each side. Kick out that skirt and lift up. And on the other side. And kick. And up. Good. You're going to lean in over that leg, put your weight there, and then twist up. Let's try that again. Coming down, opening out to the side, leaning over that leg, and twist up. Good. One more time on that side. And coming down to the floor. Opening with that leg, leaning over, belly button in, obliques engaged, and reach. Let's try it on the other side. Coming down and opening, leaning over, and twisting up. Remember to point that toe. Again, coming down and opening. Go ahead and put the weight on that foot, bring it up, and point that toe. Let's try that from the other side. So we're going to kneel down and open out. Go ahead and allow the torso to go in line with that knee. Go ahead and reach over, put the weight on that foot, and twist up. Good. On the other side. And open. Lean and twist up. Good. And then we're going to lift up, sliding the top of the foot along the floor and lifting it so that the skirt can come free from the foot. Let's try that again. So we'll open up to the side, 
and kick and lean and really ground yourself through that standing leg so that you can lift off the other leg so that you're not stuck on that skirt. On the other side, opening up to the side and lean, belly button in, use that leg strength and come up. Good, one more time on that side. Opening up and sliding. The last ascent will be from the side. So you're going to imagine that you're using that hingulation. So you're doing an undulation to the side. And as you come back, you shift the weight to one side. As you come forward, bring that back foot out and snake up with an undulation. Again. Good, so you're coming forward and back. Shift the weight left, pull yourself up and down. One more time on this side. And back, shifting the weight, pressing into that foot and undulating up release. 